What's up, Renati Nation? It's your girl, Kate. You're also for now. Big with another lit video. You already know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that in one. And if you haven't watched Vlogtober Day, what is it? Three, I believe. Three or four. I don't really remember. You need to go watch that video like right now. It is 10:24, and y'all know I gotta pick up baby in the morning. Then I gotta go to work right after I pick him up, so I should be asleep. But I wanted to do this video for y'all, so I really hope y'all subscribe and like this video because I'm really putting my all into it. So, if you want to learn how to make money as a teenager, that probably like 13, 14, 15, can't really get a job right now, this is the video. Okay, so let me tell you how you can make some clean, some money at the age of 13, 14, 15. Don't click out this video, but when you're done, don't watch that video. But if you want to learn how to make some coins as a teenager, 13, 14, 15, this is the video for you. Girl, let me help you make some money because, you know, Christmas is right around the corner and we got to get everything that we want this year. So let me make you. Let me get you some coins. First thing first, I got the videos and categories. So if you might want to start a business, first part is business. I got everything in categories. So first and first, we're going to talk about starting a business. First thing first, find vendors. Alibaba for like new uh, businesses, you can go to Alibaba and they got like free vendors. And that's easy. You can. You can start selling your products without having to go buy a vendor's list. Like some people says go buy a vendor's list. Most of the vendors ain't even real. So just go to Alibaba and you can get, I say buy like a, a sample first. So you can see if you like the material, the product and everything. Easy. She here with nobody to say packaging is a must. Cute packaging is a must. Don't get on the ugly little white color. Because me personally, when I get the packaging, like that's what I look at first. So don't listen when people be like, packaging don't matter because it do matter. If you don't got cute packaging, I'm gonna just be like, ugh. And I'm gonna think that the product ain't all that. Test your products a month in advance and I say this because you don't know if like something got messed up or like the material is not the same as what you saw. And you don't want your customer to get the, the product and they be like, I ain't gonna ever shop from them again. So test your product a month in advance before you, I don't care if you have about 10 products on the website already, every product you get, you need to test it out first. Like there's, you can't get around it because any bad product is a representation of your business and you don't want nobody to be like, yeah, sis don't go to her because she don't, she don't really take care of her products very well. So remember the second thing you can do is do hair. You can braid, do sew-ins, do natural hair, whatever you want to do. But if you can braid, sis, you my favorite person. So I'm calling out my money making sisters because I wish that I could be like y'all because sis, I did my own hair, but I can only do natural hair. I can't braid, weave, I can't do none of it. So right now I'm trying to learn because sis, I ain't trying to be no hairstylist, but I'm trying to be able to do my own hair. So if you can do hair, stop hiding and come out because we tired of these $700 braiders. We tired of all that. So you need to get your coins because you can be the one that we come into. And then second thing, I don't care if you got family members, auntie, mama, cousin, grandma, grandpa. I don't care. You charge everybody because they using your time, sis, and you got to get paid for that. So you need to go and get your coins. If mama say, oh, I can't, I can't. I don't want to pay you to get my hair done. Oh, well, next. And I don't care, even my mama. Branding yourself, that's a big must because, and I say that because if you brand yourself well, people will gradually kind of know who you are. If you post quality photos, people gonna be like, oh, it's going to remember in their brain. Like, even if they don't right then and there later on they be like oh who's a hairstylist oh um k dreams is a hairstylist okay okay well i'm about to go get k dreams to do my hair okay you see you even though they don't purchase right then and there later on they might remember because i know i haven't purchased like right on and then like i was thinking like i needed some lip gloss one day and i was like well who said lip gloss i saw i saw somebody on instagram and you know so 
just don't just because you get one view today does not mean that later on in life that that one view might not be your next customer so don't don't say "Ooh, ain't nobody see my stuff girl somebody see your stuff and that's all that matters okay so another thing a part of being a hairstylist you can corn roll somebody here like for ten dollars and they might want to do themselves a sewing but can't corn roll boom you just got a new customer boom so don't just say "Ooh, she not paying that much money sis ten dollars five dollars here and there that add up so don't be picky get your money and ten dollars for some cornrows like you can do a million and one cornrows like i do my own cornrows but if i couldn't like there's sometimes i'm being lazy and i don't feel like doing it since i might pay you so don't don't ever be like oh i'm not getting enough customers somebody is gonna want you one day so that's all that matters don't give up do you because like this youtube stuff i'll be like oh my god sometimes but this is what i love like i'm not when you do it for the money then that's when you start hitting your job. But when you do it for like the love, the support, like somebody, just imagine somebody rocking your hairstyle. You did that and they be looking bomb. Girl, you can be like, ooh, I wanna do it some more. So like, remember that and don't get it. Next thing you can wash hair at somebody's uh, company, uh, somebody's salon, maybe uh, somebody who did your hair when you buy like 10, oh, uh, they got a hair salon. You can be like, Miss Miss Jenny, can I, uh, can I wash hair for you? I charge like five, ten dollars, or whatever the case might be. And Miss Jenny might say, Yes, girl, and you just got you a new job. Like, you can't get a job anywhere. Like, there's a million and one Miss Jenny, so don't feel bad if they say no. Because since you can go to somebody else's line, they might say yes, so don't give up. But washing hair is easy, so if you just want to wash somebody's hair, you can't mess up, sis. So get your comb. See, it's a nail tick, and if if my nails wasn't so long and it, the nails didn't break off in like two weeks, sometimes it'd be early in there. Like when I got my graduation nails, if y'all haven't seen them, if I got, when I got my graduation nails, they came off like in two weeks and I was like pissed and I paid like $70. And if you charge like, I don't say charge like $30 for some nails, you charge like between like 40 and 50 for some nails like when you like first started off because I, I would buy it. But like, Sometimes we be wanting some, somebody to do nails that can really do designs because these nail techs, they be like, I don't know how to do that. Well, see, if you know how to do nails, we coming to you. And we like them long nasty nails. Like, if you really good at what you do, like, I'll pay $70. But if my nails come off in, like, two weeks and I ain't really did nothing, then I'll be like, no, nah, got to go. Got to go. Got to find somebody else. So, if you can do it, do it. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. Don't even think, well, I got to get this. I got to get that. Girl. Go do what you gotta do with what you got. So, I'm just saying. Cause I know if you a nail tech, you've been doing this a little minute. So don't act like you just now started because you know you've been, you've been doing your nails and you've been doing your friend's nails. So now you can get your coins instead of doing everything for free because it wasn't free when you bought that. So if you make masks, like I, I used to search up on YouTube, like when Corona first came, uh, how to make masks. I'm gonna start, I really hope that I start before like, corona and stuff is over because then it's gonna be a waste of time but like even me though like i'll make it look fashionable even if there ain't no more corona but i was thinking making masks because everybody want masks right now and me personally i probably got like 10 masks in my car like at my old job mcdonald's one of my customers made me a mask and it was so cute it had um it had um sesame street on it so it was real cute but you can make some masks um you can make gucci louis uh uh prada all type of uh you can put anything on a mask like you put your name and that's real cute because i got one i got one i think with my name and then i got one this uh with ulr and i got one this elmo not elmo but sesame street and i got some regular ones but you can do anything like just do it and then like if you make gloves because me personally where i live it is very cold like when i say it's cold cold it's cold so and it's been raining like three days straight too so if you like make gloves like mittens stuff like that and then with corona you make gloves we can keep our hands clean and i'm at a six feet distance right now like you gotta pay back so you can get your coins anyway so you don't gotta like if you're not very talkative youtube teach you how to do that so you can be like searching on youtube how can i how can i sell my product if i'm not very talkative sis just get your coins and don't worry about uh 
if you talk to them or not because all we care about is the bag and makeup arts i don't wear makeup but if you got a friend and you like you can do your friend makeup and you gotta charge though that ain't nothing free so don't just be like friend i can do your makeup free no you can't that's uh even if you even if you don't want to charge your friend that much you can say uh she's still like ten dollars and if you do bomb makeup that's really lowering you down a little bit so remember you had to pay to get those products so you can't be like oh i can do it for free because no you can't because you know why you the products was not free and you gotta charge your mama too because sis mama ain't getting that free either because you didn't get nothing to do diys like this halloween i'm trying to do like some diy pumpkins in my house like you can do like diy christmas ornaments diy halloween uh, decorations everything because sis i'm trying i really hope i can get them videos for y'all because i'm trying to do some decorating uh because baby's like i can do some decorating halloween stuff to i have because at first i was gonna buy from walmart but i was like girl you said brand new yours and go just get some stuff and start decorating so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make my own decorations so if you do diys just do diys and sell them because i know me like you if i wasn't gonna do my own i was gonna buy some from somebody like on etsy or like uh somewhere like that because walmart decorations is ugly so sis like i'm telling you the gems if you can do this stuff do them stop being scared stop stop thinking because somebody over here doing it you can't do it too you can do it too it's a millionaire how else will bill gates and them get rich everybody then did something so get your money too why haven't you subscribed yet like you what you saw that title you watch this video up until this part and you still haven't subscribed like i want to know why because clearly you like my content because if you didn't you wouldn't have clicked on this video you want to know how to make money i told you how to make money so why haven't you subscribed yet like i'm helping you get your bag so go subscribe like right? click that notification bell become a part of her naughty nation it's her naughty way of knowing and that's on what peaks so the next category is influencers like youtubers instagrammers instagram models instagram baddies instagram everything youtube everything so the first thing first is starting a youtube um you gotta have fun but and you you need to dedicate time to youtube like don't be like oh i'm not getting no views so i'm just kind of tired and all that because if you're having fun and if you're doing something you love eventually the money gonna come and then you'll be like oh i had fun making a video because at the end of the day even if these videos like they didn't make no money i would still be happy because i'm making memories for my kids like i can look at these videos and my son can look at these videos and my daughter when she finally come my daughter can look at these videos and she can be like, ooh, mama, I want to be like you when I grow up and all this other stuff. So don't worry about the money just shit. Like, just just cool down and do, so just do the YouTube for fun and then one day the money might roll in or the views might roll in and you're going to be like real happy because you really dedicated your time. You're going to be like, it took a minute to edit that video, but now I got what I want and stop stop pressing and just make a youtube already because you got everything you need don't be scared just just make it already because if you clicked on the video and you at this part and you're like i should make a youtube video sis bro make the youtube video because you're already thinking about it so just do it honey that video can come up because on instagram i got like six thousand impressions two thousand views or something like that and it was on a video like i'm like how did this video even come up it was a video that i would have not i did it like as a joke like i really did it as a joke and i'm guessing everybody was really feeling it because some girl you know every time you every time you get up it'd be like trolls it was a girl like oh, what are you doing sis i was just having fun but i guess everybody else liked it so that little one person that didn't like it didn't mean nothing to me because since i was getting all the views and i don't care and then the videos of my son be blowing up so and then like oh i think that was on instagram though because like i'd be really like posting on instagram but i'm about to really get active on youtube and instagram so stay tuned for that make a personality that's close to you but like something that somebody's gonna listen to like if you know me this really is like if you really really know me this is the real me so i'm not trying to be nobody else but i'm also trying to like bring out this side because considering like i'm in my room i don't really like 
know y'all like that, but I'm like bringing out me. Like I'm talking to y'all like we friends. And that's kind of how you're going to be able to talk like you been talking to one of your friends. So just bring a personality. Like you ain't got to be all loud. My favorite, like one day I hope I get like this, a local black child. Local black child is like my inspiration because sis be out there. Sis don't, she don't care. She gonna say what she wanna say. And I love that about her. That's my, that's one of my favorite YouTubers. She probably like my favorite. Like it used to be perfect glass, but I don't know. But local black child, she's so real. And I feel like if I met her in real life, like she'll be the same way. And she ain't gonna be like thinking she better than nobody. That's what I like about local black child. Don't be boring, please. Because ain't nobody about to watch no 40 minute video and you boring and that's not gonna happen sis because if you boring i'm gonna click off in the next five seconds like that's just me and if your thumbnail not cute boo i ain't even clicked on your video so i don't care what nobody say the thumbnail the first thing i see so you need to have a bomb thumbnail and that's a must you have to put a lot of time and effort in your videos it takes 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to even get paid and sometimes even then you don't get that much money so you just need to be consistent and not consistent like as in um you rushing it or nothing like that because me i was gonna go to sleep i wasn't even like i was just gonna do vlogs over four and five in the same day but no since we're about to get to the bag now we're about to do it today and i'm gonna go to sleep now. okay this is my favorite because i do make intros i make outros and all that so if you make intros outros and do edits you can charge people to uh to do theirs like that's a good you don't even have to really do much because intros and outro it takes some time now i ain't gonna lie to you take like two three if you want like a good intro like my my intro i don't know if the one before the halloween or the other one it took like two three hours and that's because it took a lot to put like it looked like it's just so easy but intros is not that easy like you gotta put a lot of time in them but you can charge like ten dollars for an intro or sometimes you can even charge twenty dollars because the time you put in like you feel like you put two hours in and you deserve that twenty thirty dollars get your money don't i don't care if somebody say i'm not gonna pay for it we'll make your own intro then that's just it like don't go down on your prices because somebody don't want to pay for it you put your time in it if it took three four hours you put your time in it so get your money and then this is like a must too though because like when youtubers get like big and famous they kind of need somebody to like edit their stuff so that's a perfect opportunity like you can make a uh, instagram or something on your intros and then a youtuber might see you they be like oh she good i want to keep her for like a little minute I want to keep up my whole YouTube career, and then boom, now you get you get paid like extra because you they personal editor, personal YouTube person. So you see, I think like think about if you get big, like stop, stop, don't don't think small. Like if you want to do something, do it like to the fullest. So then, me personally, I want to be a business owner. I want to be uh, on the best sellers list. And I swear, boo, I'm going to get all. And I want to come back to this video and be like, sis, you did it. Because, boo, I'm going to do it. And then my husband on my side, too. I don't care what nobody say. We're going to come up together. And that's how we do. Like, for real. For real. And then this is another thing. Because, like, I've been, like, I used to record videos when I was, like, in middle school. But, like, I didn't start taking it serious to, like, I think my, I was, I was, a junior slash senior as y'all know i graduated early so that's when i really started taking it serious like i should have started taking it serious before because i could have been doing like school vlogs and stuff like that but i guess i wouldn't really it wasn't my time basically so if i could have started like middle school i probably would so y'all young because you probably like 13 14 15 when y'all get my age y'all can have like a lot of subscribers so y'all can just do it instead of procrastinating just go get your bag like everybody can win like stop thinking that oh this person over here if they got the secret then i can't win since you can win they can win we all win because there's a million and one like god the labor is plenty but it's not enough dead i'm dead i'm dead okay so the harvest is plenty but the the work is just few so there's a i say the labor because it, it's labor but they say the harvest but so just like that, like it's it's enough jobs out here for everybody. So stop thinking that helping sis over here is gonna take your glory away because it's not. 
everybody can win okay another thing is instagram promoting like promote it on your instagram promote your, if you got an instagram promote on your tiktok promote on all social medias because instagram is just not gonna get you there like sis you gotta go to tiktok you can be doing hey 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 do some tiktoks I, that's not how i really dance but do some tiktoks like for this video i might do a how to make money tiktok like you need to think like how can you make money okay if you want like older subscribers facebook because you know your my money i'm old and i'll be on facebook i don't care what nobody say i'll be on facebook baby like ooh, baby you old shit <laughs> I'm be on Facebook, Instagram. If I could do Twitter, I would. But every time I be on Twitter, like they be saying, like my pages, they be just taking my pages. So I just forget about TikTok. No, Twitter, I mean. And then Snapchat, I don't like just texting people. Like that's boring. So I don't do Snapchat no more either. But Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Do Smash, all that. Since you gonna see me on there, it's either K Dreams or Self or Clutter Made. Y'all already know what it is. Almost, if you got like a large follow, even if you got like 5k, like I'm almost 5k. If you just got 5k, do promos like you can. Somebody with like 100, they might want to say, Ooh, even it, like think like this. Even if you got 5k, there's somebody out there that they might they might see their page and they might like it. So don't ever think, Ooh, I only got 5k, so that's not enough. There is enough, actually. There really is enough because even 100, like they might got different uh followers than you, you can get their followers. So just just do promo okay, on tiktok if you get like ten thousand followers i think you can uh you can get paid if if a lot of people watch your video you keep getting paid so like make things that people like like me personally i'm not really like big big on tiktok yet but once i learn y'all better watch out because i'm still learning youtube teach me everything boo. so once i learn I'm stepping on next. I'm sorry to break it to you. I'm stepping on next. And that's how y'all should be get y'all money. I want about six incomes by the age of 60. Retire who? Boo, I'm not retired. That's out of there. That's dead. I'm trying to have about six different houses in six different states. My kids gonna have a house in every state. What you thought this was? So I'm trying to be somewhere in life. And I don't care. I might be here right now. But maybe in about 10 years from now, I'm be some you don't even have to ask your parents for no money you know why because we're gonna get them a break and we're gonna we're gonna be in our own bag sis we're gonna be able to buy our own car own wheel own house all all of it so stop asking your parents for stuff boo we about to we about to just get our own money. sis can't nobody tell you what to do with your own money because it's yours so get your own money you ain't gotta wait till mama say "Ooh, you want some mcdonald's you, and then mama be like nope you you ain't get no mcdonald's I only like McDonald's, but sis, if I want a McDonald's, I want to be able to go get some McDonald's when I want some McDonald's. So if you ain't, it's my money and I need it now. Honey, if you have like a family owned business, sis, go work there. And like, sis, I'm trying to, like, when my kids get like 15, 16, sis, they ain't got to worry about going to work at McDonald's or like Burger King or none of that. Because come work for your mama. I'll probably pay you more just because you're my child. I ain't gonna lie, my child might make more money than my dang workers. And I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's how it is. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to create wealth for my children. So go work for your family owned business and then get your coins, save your money. Uh, don't use all your money because we say we get in our bag and when we get in our bag, that I means we're trying to buy a house, buy a car. We trying to buy no Louis bag, Louis bag that uh, ain't really getting us nowhere. So we trying to build wealth. So remember that. Okay, so the next category is school, tutor, tutoring. Maybe you have little kids in your neighborhood that needs help. You know, we in coronavirus. Some kids, you know, they don't want to, uh, they don't want to be tutored at school because they kind of feel embarrassed. So you can come to their house and teach them just as well. So, okay, so maybe you can charge people to have online school because I know with online school, some people, it's not for some people. And then it's kind of hard because they don't have a teacher and some parents ain't even helping their kids. So you can charge like five for five, five dollars for like 10 minutes on a Zoom call, like, or like $20 for like 10, uh, 20 minutes or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. $10 for like 20 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. And you can do that and then you get your money because 
sis, they need help. Like, it's people out here, like, they didn't think about that. Basically, like, they think the key is grades just going down. It's not even that. It's like, if you don't got no parent that's helping you, or you ain't got no teacher no more, so who gonna help you? How you gonna learn something on, at home that you don't even understand? So be a tutor. Tutor people, because for y'all smart people, as in, even like even the smart people we want help because i was that kid in school like i want to help but everybody was like i got a 4.0 and then nobody realized like it was hard keeping it like 4.0 like i was on myself like i i knew like i was gonna graduate i didn't care like my grandpa his wish was to watch me graduate he was like i'll give it all up just to watch you graduate and like i made him proud i graduated and he also wanted to see me have my first kid he saw that too and i pray to god that one day He'll see me um, get married. Like, that'll be the best day of my life. To see my, like, my grandpa, see all my kids. My grandpa older, so, you know, I'm just going to shine for my gramps because at the end of the day, my grandma and grandpa, we have our problems, but at the end of the day, them two people I want to make proud. All oh, it just, like, felt like I was, it was hectic trying to keep up my grades, honestly. But, like, my teacher, Miss Lori Lahowski, yeah, so if somebody didn't know Lori, like you could tell her, like she she really made it made an impact on my life because, like I had like a five on my essay in like high school, and you know if a five is good in college, and Lori was like you should write, and like that's my that's my writer, like for real. I loved Miss Lahowski, like she was like my teacher mom because she always believed in me, and that was another thing, like you gotta have a teacher that believe in you. And Dr. Janetta Max Wayne, like if, Jan if somebody know Miss Dr. Janetta Max Wayne, she was a lady who created this old Miss Janetta Max Wayne created Rising Above the Scars. And this this book, I need to really go buy it because this book at a time in my life it really took it really made me focus because some of the things that got done to her got done to me. So it was like. She was speaking to me and she told me, like, I met her when I was like 12 years old. And it was like, a, I don't care what nobody said. Like, I love when I say, I've been out of it a little minute because I ain't really wrote like I used to. But when I get back, I'm stepping on Nicks. But Miss um, Janetta Max Wayne, she really told me, like, go do it. Well, what's she wrote in here? Okay, she said, to Arthur Kalia, keep writing and changing lives, Dr. Janetta Max Wayne. Failure is not an option, and like I remember that I didn't kept this book since I was like 12 years old. Like I literally, I was in a facility, and Mr. Mel Maxwell came, and and there was like a big impact. Like I knew that day, like I couldn't give up on this writing stuff. Like I might have sat back a little bit, but I can't ever give up. Like that's my dream. Like business owner, that's my dream. But being on that bestseller, like this, that's up there. So to the people. Make an impact on somebody, like change somebody's life. It's not even all about the money. Like really do something that's meaningful. Maybe even like sell your notes. Like I know like everybody was like, we know we know you got the notes. Like I was the like smart kid in school, but I feel like I feel like everybody just was using me though. Like I wish I wouldn't like notice that back then because none of them people really talked to me unless it was about their notes. Like I ain't gonna I wasn't really I wasn't like people knew me, but I wasn't really like that big. Like I didn't want nobody like to talk to me or none of that. Like even my boyfriend was like, I was quiet. Like I just did at that point in time, like I, I wasn't as nice as I am now. I wish I was still like that girl because people be getting over. But that girl back then, like she was like, no, I don't want no fake love. And that's what I respect about the old me. Like ain't no fake love gonna come my way. So sell your notes. But also make sure people respect you also. But get your coins, so get your coins. I should have sold my notes instead of giving them out for free. Do other people homework. That's the next one. You know those people who be like, oh, I want a good grade, but I don't want to do my homework. Help sis out. Do her homework and get your coins. Because that's her problem. She don't want to do homework. That's her problem. That ain't your problem. You getting your money. And I said, like, charge $10 to do, like, one assignment because I don't care. That's a lot on I gotta think so ten dollars and then like we doing an essay thirty dollars thirty dollars or uh, five dollars a page after thirty dollars thirty five dollars for another page forty dollars for another page don't maybe fifty dollars shoot you doing somebody essay 
you gotta get the coins ain't nothing less than thirty dollars because you gotta write it out think it and then you gotta make sure it don't uh sound like you uh your your essay so mm -hmm. okay so pay internships you can ask your school about this because i really don't know too much about it i seen another youtuber say this but pay internships and it's actually good on your resume though actually so you should do that oh uh, you can ask some oh I, I work for this brand right here pay internships that's out of all the ones i said that's a good one right there okay so these tips they can help anybody they can help your mom your grandma your sister your brother your cousin your daddy oh uh, don't be stingy with them the video everybody can get their bag and this can help out everybody so share this video with your family and your friends and everybody next category is entertainment and i'm gonna get a i'm gonna say artist and this is a big one because when i was like nine years old i used to watch my dad draw stuff like my dad like that man right there like he really be he really be drawing i wish i took after him but like if you can draw you need to sell your drawing and like sell your artwork like if it's something like somebody won't you need to get your money for it because i know me like i've been looking for it like if y'all know somebody that draw like really draw draw put them in the comments because i really need somebody to draw my son so i can put it in his room and that'll be lit because the person that i was gonna use she not like doing it right now so that's another thing we need to get more drawers out here because we can't be waiting on nobody so y'all need just and then like if y'all draw like i would honestly like but i love art like y'all don't know how much i love art like like i can see a piece right now and i can tell you all about it like that's how much i love art like if i could like i can draw like simple stuff like like for my clothing designs like i i draw them out but i don't i can't draw like people or nothing like that so if me personally like i'm not gonna be like an artist or nothing but i be drawing just for fun so you can draw for fun and freaking silly the next one is gonna be photography because you know your girl learned how to take pictures my own pictures so i ain't gonna sell i ain't take nobody pictures though i ain't think i this is one of the best ones because i like pictures so my photographer he charged like 150 and if you want customers try to make your prices a little reasonable like i'm not saying go down to like 50 dollars or nothing like that but try to make them reasonable because people are more likely to come to you because you're like newer but you also like build a portfolio so people will know what they can make so if you want to do like pictures charge like 90 to like 110 or something like that because you know they got birthday parties proms and if you do like a portfolio people might want to use you and then they get a reasonable price so you can go do that you, you can get paid to do something you love so you win so make music if you see those if you're really good and then you might get discovered like it might not even just be the money like somebody might discover you and then boom you get more money than you even thought when i first started youtube uh i needed my intro done i wanted like somebody to sing on it but i couldn't find nobody and if you like you can charge like five to ten dollars for like a uh seven to ten second video and then boom you get your money because you can't really charge much because it's only seven seconds so but you still get coins like five ten dollars just for you to see and then some you love boom you just got you some money so just think about it. you can't be like overly charging though because if you overly charge anybody gonna want it because it's just the intro so, okay you can also go on apple music spotify things like that don't, I really don't recommend like SoundCloud because you gotta get monetized and even then you still don't make as much money on SoundCloud as you do on like Apple Music, Spotify and stuff like that. So if you do music, really take it to the next level and go Apple Music because I know I be on Apple Music and you, I might listen to one of your songs or something and I might keep on playing because I be playing the same songs every day so you probably get views off me anyways and I don't even know. Make sure you watch all my other videos. Uh, after you watch this video and then kind of get my watch hours up get my subscribers up and if y'all got a youtube video you if you're a youtuber that i don't follow put your uh put your youtube name in the comments because i do need to find new youtubers to watch so put your youtube in and i also like to see like smaller base youtubers because y'all be coming up like i see some youtubers do some stuff that even big youtubers don't do so 
since I've been watching. And I know this video is titled Teens, How to Make Money as a Teenager, but anybody can make money, but you gotta, it takes, it takes a tiny bit of effort to make the money though. Then the next category is food and delivery. Okay, so you can do like Postmates, DoorDash, Uber. This like for my older people, like 17, 18. If you got like a driver's license or you got like a parent that's gonna drive you, you can do one of these and then like deliver deliver food to people. This one is bake and deliver. If you drive, you can say, oh, I'll deliver it to your door and then if they live in the same city as you, that's a good thing. You can just bake like cookies, brownies, cakes or whatever, and then just send them a text and say it's at your door because with Corona, you don't want to be like close to people, but you also, with the bakeries kind of closed right now, you can help out somebody. This also helps if you post on Instagram about your business and like Facebook, all that good stuff. Maybe even do some YouTube videos on how, how to make cookies or how to make like brownies and stuff like that because I'll be watching videos like that. So you might also give views and be able to sell right now in your community. This is the one that's funny. Selling food at school. And the key is to make more money than what you pay for. And not just like a little bit of money, but a lot of money from what you pay for. I used to have this store in Little Rock. Uh, I used to go there every day before school. And the man there, we were really cool. So he'll let me get a whole bunch of stuff. And then I sell it at like candy, Takis, stuff like that. Like one day I got caught. But when I got caught, the principal and the police officer, he was talking about some. Like he gave me like my bag and he was like, where you get these Takis from and all this other stuff. You got like five bags in here. Like it was big bag of Takis. And they was like, oh, I want some. And like in my head, I'm like, you better just give me my bag back because they be acting so hungry, but y'all don't want us to sell. Like we could, hell I was, sorry, but I would sell to the dang on me teacher if she was cool enough. Like we all need snacks ain't no vending machine well it is a vending machine but it was so overly priced and it wasn't nothing it was like the generic candy so i don't even know what they restricted to mind their business though but you can get like a bulk from like sam's clubs costco's uh anything like that like so if you in school sell your stuff sis because what else is there on ebay's ibotta and you can go in stores and you can get paid to shop so that's also a good thing. So, if you like a little kid, tell your mama to do it for you. I don't know. I don't know. That's more so for my people who live alone or like they buy their own food. Our next category is helping at home. You can do chores. Like, I pay like my son, but I don't give it to him. I put it in his bank account. But I pay my son for just picking up his clothes. Like, but if you're a teenager, uh, you can understand your parent more. So if they say go wash the dishes or something and you do it, you can get money. And that's an easy little, easy little $20 just for washing some name dishes that you should have just did anyways, but anybody can. Okay, so this is my problem. First thing first, if you got a problem with spending money, you need to just get a bank account because me personally, I don't ever keep cash around me at all. So. You need to just get a bank account so that you won't be tempted to spend the money. I think about money from 12 a.m. today to 12 a.m. the next day. Like, I sleep, eat, breathe money. Like, that's it. Like, that's all I think about. Like, when I'm at work, I'm thinking about money. Like, my boss can even tell you. And I don't call nobody my boss, but whatever. That'd be crazy. But my manager can tell you, uh... All I'm talking about at work is my business, YouTube, business, YouTube, that's it. So even he be like, you need to just do it already because that's all I talk about. Like, that's all I care about really. Like, I do like cricket right now, but like, all I care about is my business. I don't care about nothing else. Like, cricket teaching me how to start my business, really. And this category is helping out your neighbor. You can go wash cars if you... Like in the summertime, that's the best time because it's hot outside. But you can wash cars for like five, ten dollars, and if you extra good, you can watch, do it for like twenty. You can make them clean up in their car, and then they are gonna be like, "Yo, she cleaned my car, and she washed my car. Yo, she twenty dollars. That's good. So that's one thing. Watch animals. If you like dogs, you can go or like animals. Go walk the dog. Watch the guinea pig, the rabbit, the hamster. Whatever you got to do to get the money. So. That's one thing. Walk dogs, like, I don't like animals. I don't like, I don't even like fish. 
so but if you like them type of animals or whatever mammals whatever then go get your money sis i say do it right because we do everything right around here like don't do it half as they say half a yes it is don't do it don't do it just because like do it with your heart because when you do it with your heart it means more to people than if you just doing it just because you're just doing it for the money babysit children like if you gotta watch your cousin your brother your sister or a little megan down the street get your money like I ain't ever babysit no child. Like I, like my little sister, probably, but I wouldn't count that as babysit because she's my little sister. Babysit children with decent families. Like if the child look evil, run while you can because we don't want with evil spirits around us. So just run. Be a coach because I remember when my when I graduated, my uh, coach was like I should come back and uh, and help out, but that wasn't really for me because I had just had my son and I wasn't. I just don't like I dance but I don't dance like I used to like I don't really I don't really want to dance for no dance team no more if you like play a sport or something you can go like be a trainer or something like that like get your money like if you're basketball like if you play basketball go treat go teach little five-year-olds how to play basketball because me personally my son he like that boy turned on football today and I wish I had somebody to teach him how to play football because I kind of figured because it's like his dad and his brother thing but like i wish i had somebody teach him football because that boy loves some football like he literally went in the living room and turned on football like i don't even know how he did it because we don't we just got the fire stick so we don't have no cable so i don't mean that boy just another one and we almost at the end but it's categories category extra ways to make money you can use like you can use like big coins when I was in middle school, I used to like exercise and they'll give me like Bitcoin. I don't really remember how it worked. They would like trade you whatever and you can get like prizes, but basically you can go and download the app and walk and see see kind of what they give you because it's all different stuff. It'd be like mostly exercise stuff. But it would teach you how to get your money, but also re Referring friends can also give you money, so that's an easy way of getting money. So sell your old clothes or shoes, sell on Depop, Poshmark, McCarthy. It's easier to sell on apps like that than to sell on Facebook because telling somebody, ooh, you should buy this, most of the time they're not gonna buy it because they be saying, I'm gonna buy it, but they really don't. So just sell it, and then if somebody like it, they'll just get it. So that's easier, you can get your money back. And Play-Doh Closet is good for also selling clothes. So if you got some old clothes, just take it to Play-Doh Closet and get your some favorite. If you make thumbnails, websites, YouTube intros, anything like that, you can get money off of Fiverr. Fiverr, Fiverr. Literally, people will pay you for that. Like there's people out there that don't, that don't like editing their videos like they'll pay somebody to edit videos so boom there goes some extra money right there you can edit a video or a thumbnail and because like most people i know a lot of people like they can watch youtube just like anybody else but they don't like to do things like this so that's some easy money for you so why you haven't did it yet maybe you can do a yard sale you can do stocks this is a big one like when i finally get settled i want to do stuff i really think you should search it up like search up businesses and like lower businesses search up about them and if you feel like you can invest your money and it'll even if it drops down but like if you feel like this business is worth uh investing in you should invest in it because you don't know maybe that business might cost a million dollar one day and now you're gonna make it so hopefully by the end of this video you didn't got in your bags you learned something if you didn't you might need to watch the video over because since i told you all the gems you need to know and you gotta just listen man because you can make money it's 2021 like there's no way that you 13 14 can't make money because when i was 13 14 i was thinking about like clothes i was thinking about ways to make my money so you too you you in quarantine right now like there ain't no reason that you should be making money but i'm loving that y'all want to make money and we're creating generational wealth around here like if you're 10 12 70 it don't matter we all making our money you're trying to get into your bag and i really hope you do comment down below if you like any of these suggestions what's your favorite ones and which ones you don't use and some other things that teens can do like if you know jobs that teens can do comment them down below and share this with your friends and i really hope y'all like it but like comment subscribe all of that in one and y'all already know her not in way or no way and that's on who who big period but thank y'all 
my husband told me that he believed in me so i need to just do this video so i just did the video so y'all need to go like the video like right now like you right here why you haven't liked the video and go check out my other video because we doing it this vlogtober and then if y'all want the video on how i get my hair like this i got y'all because this took actually i wasn't even planning on doing this to my hair but somehow or another i like this hairstyle so i did it so bye guys